I actually don't know who means who. <laughs> I'm gonna be so, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Power is the min min player. Okay, cool. I'm gonna I have the names wrong. Well, here. yeah, the, the names are like matched <laughs> with their their tag. Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I couldn't I couldn't see it because of like initially how I had the layout. Anyways. It's interesting to see, um, well, I guess for both these characters, but I would say Min Min being more and more popular outside of Japan in these tournaments. At least in MSM. I don't know how well they do in other tournaments, but like, as far as MSM is concerned, very consistent in uh, placing well in this tournament. Yeah, she's she's definitely one of those characters that kind of come together as a whole, very, very slowly, unfortunately, because of COVID. But overall, I think the character is going to be really, really dominant offline. I mean, look at the distance at which she can fight, in which no other fighter can actually deal with uh, consistently, at least in their case. Uh, so far, though, Akawa is doing a pretty solid job of just looking for a pick with arc fire like so, and then you get the up smash, put in damage, and this is a position where you don't want her to land for free. Like, a really good opportunity to use that back air, take care of her on the platform before she even has a chance to touch solid ground. Yeah, that was a very good landing trap from uh, Coward. He's just another really solid Robin player uh, that we've seen in uh, the online era more, which is uh, really interesting to me. I, I think before, you know, like six months ago, everyone was like, yeah, Jewel's really good with Robin, but I don't think this character's that good. And then now we have like at least five really good Robin players. <laughs> Yeah, and a lot a lot of it comes from like the matchup in general. Because let's be honest, depending on what region you live, you're not gonna have a lot of Robin practice. Yeah, that's true. The character is not very common. Oh, I love that arc fire setup. So good, so much damage too. But uh, yeah, I don't know. The character is not very popular since they uh don't really play like other characters. But definitely strong, in my opinion. Yeah, strong indeed. And like I said in this matchup here, you get a pick, right? You take that lead with it. You the best the best thing you can do is honestly make sure like if you're fighting the Belmonts, same thing with Min Min. Just you have to worry about because she has more range instead of specials. Gotta be careful though of uh, the range that he decides to use his, uh, his specials. Oh, nice, nice up smash. I was gonna say, yeah, because then power can definitely react and just reflect it back in his face. With the yeah. Up smash if he chooses to. And let me just talk about damage. Maybe his damage output is some of the most Ooh. insane in the game. That spike was insane. That timing is actually not easy to get at all. <laughs> he made that look very easy, but that was actually not easy to do. No, not at easy. All. Not easy in, in at all, dude. Like, that's, like you said, right? Um, Nimmin's damage output is pretty ridiculous. Like it's, it's uh, it can go zero to sixty in like a, in like literally from a grab, from a down tilt, from a really solid read. So you really have to respect Nimmin at a lot of the ranges, just because like she's on the ground. Uh, it doesn't mean she's not a threat in the air. Like we've seen what Nimmin can do when she goes for like a B, and then she swings her arms, and then she gets the dragon, and then she fast falls it. Or if she catches you like rolling in, yeah, there's a lot that you have to really take into consideration against the character. Yeah, it's also a thing too, since you can attack from so far away. If you're like trying to jump in from a decent distance in on her and she knows you're gonna do that, she can anti air you with like a jump, like, I don't know, A, B, move, <laughs> jump <laughs> arm, swing. That's what and I'm saying. That, that does a really, really good job as well. Depending on which arm she has, like, You'll get staying in a completely different trajectory or just fight out Three, die sometimes. Two, uh, one, but yeah, go. definitely uh, doesn't have a good disadvantage. So you have to really push that heavily when you do get that opening. Otherwise, you know, you can get walled out very, very heavily. And yeah, of course, edge guarding, but that goes without saying. So we got Kalos here. Um, actually. I don't know, I kind of like this stage for Min Min. Definitely helps her recovery quite a bit, and having more room to keep out the opponent is uh, not too bad for her either. But Coward's very good with Robin. This has to be a bit of a comfort pick too, so I want to see how he's going to use his counter pick. So far, he has a really decent lead. He is choosing to fight at a pretty far distance and you know, getting away with it. So, yeah, nice, nice catch. I think he sniped the jump there when he sent him off stage. So yeah. Oh, tough call there. 
Really good, really yeah. good. Just go for spot dodge, just because you don't want to get grabbed. And like I said, if you get back throwed, if you're not ready, that's gonna be a stock. Yeah, that was also just a very obvious throw he was going for. He just like rolled right behind him. A lot of people do that when you're at the ledge, like roll behind, fish for a grab. Yeah. Nice. This is a really big opportunity here to get that upper. Sweet to 107. Huge that's percent. A... Lighter character would have died from that. Ooh. <laughs> nice. the... That was good to go for L Thunder just because it forces power to either hold the shield, get punished, or go for the roll, and then the down smash covers that roll. So yeah, kind of a, like a dent if you do, dent if you don't. Yeah, he forced him to roll because if he did, he would have uh, broke his shield. That was just really smart. Oh, oof! Yeah, Tough spot to be thing. into. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good juggle. He trapping the landing very well. Oh, nice of the so smart to get from the ledge like that and apply some damage as well. Nice. See, this is a really good opportunity to also understand Min, Min in this case. Because if you look at the way her arms work, not only are they really good, like, proper distance demons, but the same range you would be for whiff punishing, she could just move in and out of it times two. So you have to really consider when you are trying to come back on the ledge. That's why we kind of see Coward kind of stand back there, but also definitely change up his edge guarding because he knows if I try to stay at the ledge, she can just come in really hot. Yeah. Still doing an amazing job holding onto this stock. Oh, power dropped an easy kill there. Wasn't sure the trajectory that he was landing, and that's going to be an air to air forward air with the Levin Sword. Very, very powerful move. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a solid three stock, man. Power did not slow down whatsoever. Once he got that first stock, he just kind of made it very difficult. But oh, Psy Guy with the, the five year sub? Dude, you're mm -hmm. crazy. What a goat. What a goat, and what a legend. Five years in the making, he says, since 2015. I think, I think Guy and I think Exy are like the first two people to sub for, to this channel. I think, yeah, I think, culture. yeah, alongside they, uh, like Z Fly and you, I think. They subbed before the uh, founder badges were added, I think, so they don't have it. Yeah, five years, man. Big, big shout outs to PSI Guy. If you guys are re watching the VOD on YouTube, you guys can follow us on twitch.tv forward slash 2G Gaming. And never be afraid to hit that sub button, especially if you got that Prime Gaming sub. Do not let it go to waste. Yeah. Appreciate it, for sure. But, Five uh, years, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot for the continued support. For sure, for sure. But we got this Pokemon Stadium counter pick. Let's see, let's see how this works out for uh, for Power here. Already, though, he's getting pressured pretty hard. Already bullied to the other side of the stage. Nice, oh. and he forces up the roll with the arc fire just because he knows yes. it covers ledge. Wow, oh and the early God. spike hitbox from the uh, from the L win. Oh my goodness, dude! That's really such difficult early to kill. land. Yeah, uh, it just the amount of pressure that Coward is applying already is uh, very good. He's just not giving Min Min any room to set up or to start spacing her arms at all for the most part, which is interesting to say as a Robin because like you expect Robin players to not go so aggressive as he is but it works really well in this matchup yep he's basically going to roll with the arc fire every time and he's punishing it accordingly very very good stuff that's like staple ledge trap you want to do with robin yeah oh, oh my good god on the wave wow. i actually did get the reverse to work out he didn't hit Min Min, but he still made it really awkward for her to recover. And I'm not gonna lie, Almost that'd be reverse the ballsy. Knife off stage as well, too? Dude, this, I don't know, man. I want to call it, but we might see another three stock here. Yeah, well, we'll see. Power is definitely working on it. Like you said, the B reverse was so big because if you fail that B reverse, you could potentially lose a stock for facing the wrong direction, though. Really good on power to mix up the timing on those arms, able to get through the shield here. Goes for the roll. You have to stop rolling, man. Yeah, he's just very scared of getting caught in shield, and uh, Coward knows that. I do like the, again, he's going for these really uh, crazy, like, offstage L Thunders as well, just to snag these jumps. Yeah. And uh, he's just not giving up on the pressure, either offstage Ooh. or in the corner. Uh, Power just can't really get any bearings right now. Yeah, and it's, okay. it's difficult, too, because like you said, right, he's forcing Power to go to make those decisions and go for rolls, because you will get shield poked, or you can get shield broken, depending on how your shield is. And with how aggressive Coward can be after an arc fire, that's where things change here. Good on power to use those arms though to stop the arc thunder, but unfortunately the arc fire to the forward air and that is all she wrote. 
I'm using so much stun from the arc fire. He could have done almost any move he wanted to at that point to get that kill. But uh, very, very impressive. Very impressive stuff.